What's up, Fixters? Welcome back. We're here again with some more Splatoon 2. Uh, we are starting off where we left off last time. Now, we couldn't finish up the videos. I know it's been a long time. It's been a couple months since we done these Splatoon 2 videos. But uh, as all of you know, or some of you know, we got a new PC. So uh, we couldn't record because the other PC was just out of space. It was completely old. We got a new PC so we can re keep recording videos. And uh, now we're back, gonna finish up this series so we can move on and do other videos. Uh, I know a lot of you have been requesting for me to do some more videos like Splatoon 2, Crash, aka other stuff. Um, so we're gonna continue and we're gonna do that now. Um, so we're gonna continue here with Splatoon 2. Now let me just do a little recap of where we left off because it is a little bit, uh, uh, a few months ago since we've been doing these. So we are here at uh, Sector 5. Uh, we finished numbers 23. And uh, we finished number 24 in a video that you guys have never seen because I recorded it, but my computer was so old, it ran out of space, I couldn't really record any more videos, but I did uh, try to record it. And anyways, we're going to be continuing uh, to finish that level here as we go. Now here's the records where we left off. We got everything already in Sector 1, everything in Sector 2, all the uh, Sardiniums, all the Sunken Scrolls. We got everything in Sector 3. Uh, we got everything in Sector 4, and now we are here at number Sector 5. Now, like I said before, we did get num uh, the, the Suck and Scroll and the Sardinium for number 24. But since you guys never seen me get it, I'm going to go ahead and show you now. Uh, we are going to be uh, continue to do these and finish this up. So uh, here we go. Let's go. Now, before we get started, uh, I want to make sure I want to thank everybody for joining us uh, during all the live streams, supporting the channel. Um, and thank you so much for all the wonderful support you have shown us. So um, let's go. Let's do this. Let's go. Now let's see here. What we're going to have to do so I can start off at kind of middle of the Cephalon headquarters. I'm going to have to go to Sector 4 and then jump over to Cephalon headquarters. So I'm going to jump over to, let's see here. I'm going to jump over to uh, number 18, which is in the middle of the map of Sector 4. And we're going to jump from Sector 4 to Sector 5. So I can start right in the middle and I can show you how to get to number 24 from here now here we go here we are in the middle of the map here and to get to number 25 we're gonna have to kind of figure out where the thing is here if I'm not mistaken I think it's over this way let me double check go this way here yeah, here it is right here so this is how you get to the uh, Cephalon, Cephalon headquarters we're gonna jump over to number five all right, so here's a Cephalon HQ. Um, let me show you all how to get to number four, 24 here, which is Transfer Junction Intersection of the Soul, uh, which is over that way. Now, let's see here. It looks like we're going to have to take the pink flying saucer to get there. So you got to jump over here to get to the pink lamp that's over there. Jump over. There you go. Now to get to this one, it's not too bad. It's a little tricky though, so make sure you slime right here before this uh, rail thingy. Line it up with the one back there on the other side. Oh gosh. Watch out for this thing there. It splats me. Alright. Jump over. Line it up all the way as far as you can, and then as soon as you can... The other one back there moves towards you. You can go ahead and jump over. There you go. Perfect. Now slime over here. That's going to take you. You're going to want to line up with that one over there. Jump over. And here we go. Ready, set, go. Perfect. There you go. And then you want to want to ink this way so you can make your way up to the top of this rotating platform here. Make your way over here. Ink over here. Now here is number 24. Transfer Junction Intersection of the Soul. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. Now, if I remember correctly, I did play this level. It was a little tricky on certain points, but we were able to get past past it. Uh, the Sunken Scroll and the Sardinian were in a little bit of a tricky hiding, hiding spots, but uh, we were able to find it. All right. Let's go. Let's see here. Let's go this way. All right. Watch your step. You know, you know us oily inklings don't do well in water. That is correct. Now, there's some pretty strong enemies in this, so you gotta be careful. 
Now, the good thing is that we have this slosher here that's going to help us take out these enemies from afar and ink a lot of areas as we go along here. Yep, we're going to make our way this way. Oh, goodness, I almost dropped off there. I hope you're feeling jumping today. Yes, I am, Marie. Just a little jumpy. Not too jumpy, but just a little jumpy. Take our way this way. Take a little cover. Be careful with these dudes here. They will splat you pretty quickly if they see you, so be make sure you take them out quickly. Make your way over. Alright, got that checkpoint. Now, the first dust, uh, I believe it's the Sardinium, is actually in a tricky spot, but you gotta make sure you're feeling jumpy, just like Marie says, because what you gotta do is, on this platform right here, uh, you have to jump up. Oh, not feeling too jumpy. All right, let me show you. Let me show you once again how to do this. <laughs> oh, let me show you. Try again how to do this. Like I said, I'm a little rusty. I haven't played Splatoon 2 in a while, but we'll get it. We'll get it. Try to try to ink all the way to the very top, so you can make your way to the very top of that platform. Because I'll show you exactly where their Sardinium is. It's a really good spot. There you go. And if you look down, there's the Sardinium. So jump over this way. Take take care of these dudes here. Slosh away at them. Just be careful, because they're going to keep coming back and forth, so you want to make sure you grab them, make sure you hit them pretty good. There's a Sardinium right there behind that platform, so what you got to do is you got to ink that whole area there so you can kind of jump over there and grab it, which is easier said than done, so you got to be, you got to be quick here. Alright, here we go. There you go, just like that. Grab the Sardinium, and that's all it took. Alright, so we jump down there and get that armor. I think I think we will. I think we're gonna need it. I think we're gonna need all the armor we can get here on this level, because there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, those Octoling dudes shooting all over this map, and I'll show you specifically this area where I just kept dying over and over again when I was first playing this level. Um, hopefully we'll make we'll make our way past it a little bit quicker than we did last time. Here we go, right here, jumping up. Okay, so here we go. Let me go over here. Watch out. Okay, I'm stuck here. I'm stuck here. Uh, here we go. Perfect. All right. Jump over to the next area. Okay. I don't think this area was the, the tricky part, but rock the block, block rocker. I will. I will. I will, Sheldon. Don't you worry about that. Get those eggs. Make your way over here. Okay, these dudes aren't too bad to deal with, but they are shooting, so be careful. Way up. There we go, perfect. Oh no, balloon. I missed it. Oh well. The... Is this where the... Sur I, I believe this is where the sunken scroll is. It's right underneath me right there. Let me show you guys where it's at. Jump down. Right there. There is the sunken scroll right there. And a... Actually, quite unique hiding spot. Not too bad. But there you go. That's what you get for snooping around. <laughs> hey, gotta keep snooping. Snoop away. Oh gosh, did I just fall? Yes, I did. Could have swore I pushed the jump button there. Oh well. Still got two lives left. Let's keep going here though. Make your way back up. Not too bad. Point, the part here is that you just got to get to the top of this platform up here, and that way you can get, um, let's see here, I'm going to go up, shoot these things, there you go, perfect, jump over, there you go, keep shooting these so they don't get small on you, because you're going to have to make your way up when this platform gets like that, there you go, perfect, that way, shoot this other one, there you go, good, now you can make your way. I'm way up top of the level here, making our way to the next checkpoint. Alright, so if I'm not mistaken, this is the tricky part. You gotta be extra careful with these guys here, because they shoot and they do not stop shooting. So you gotta you gotta make your way onto these platforms here and kind of Oh my gosh, I thought I died. I thought I I thought I got splatted there. So 
soon as you get up here, you gotta shoot. And once these platforms go up and down, you kinda drop and fall. So you gotta know where exactly where you're at at all times. And then these dudes keep spawning over here. So try to splat over there. And jump your way over there so you can hit them as fast as you can. So that you don't get splatted here. And think around as much as you can as well. And that's gonna get you... Perfect. Oh, that wasn't as bad as, it, as as the first time I did it. I'm telling you, I died like 10 times the first time I did that. Not literally, but a lot. Alright, so that wasn't too bad. So once you make your way back over here, that's going to take you, I believe, to the final checkpoint. Nope, one more checkpoint after this. Alright. No baddies here. Oh, yes, there are. They're not on their lunch break, Marie. Alright, so what you gotta do here is you gotta hit all these, uh, there's red spots all over, so make sure you look up and down, um, and try to hit them. Now the last red spot is actually hiding inside here, what you gotta do is, I think unlock it by killing one of these baddies here. Nothing that way, okay, whoa. So make your way to this part of the map, and this is where all the baddies come out. There you go. They're not on their lunch break anymore, but they're gonna wish they were. Oh, this guy's tricky. Those are my least favorite characters. These are my least favorite enemies on this whole entire in this whole entire game. They're so annoying because they put their shields up. There you go. No problem. Got him! <laughs> Alright. Checkpoint there. Shoot there. Jump to get the top one. I believe you can get it from here. I think I got it last time from the top. Maybe not. No worries. Make your way to the other side. Oh, no. Not good. It's cool. I got the checkpoint there your way back over that way. More guys coming off their lunch break. These guys are a little bit easier to deal with even though they move around. They're definitely not as pain in the butt as the other guys. There is one more. There he is. Easy. Easy, easy. Make your way to the top of this platform. So you can get this other side the thingy, and I believe there's one more, there it is, and the last one, there it is, and now you can get, go ahead and get the key to unlock that middle platform, shouldn't be too much of an issue there, but, get the eggs, perfect, oh, I didn't get them, oh well, I failed, and that's going to open up another platform, so you can grab the Zapfish, and that should do it. Not too bad, right? Zapfish, come to me! <laughs> Alright, there there you have it. Transfer Junction, Intersection of the Soul, complete. I, that, I did that one in 8 minutes. A little bit sooner than the other one. I think I did it was like 18 minutes. And I kept trying over and over and over again. Um, so yeah, that'll do it for Transfer Junction, Intersection of the Soul. Not too bad. Um... On the next one, we're going to try and do number 25, no, 25, yes, Platform Madhouse, please mind the gap. Uh, sounds interesting. Looks like sounds like going to be a lot of jumping in that one. All right, Fixers, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to almost done with these Splatoon 2 videos. I know, I, I know it's been a few months since we've done them, but uh, thank you for uh, being patient as we finish up the series. And then we're going to move on to other stuff. So, uh, yeah. Hope to see you soon. Don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you're new here and want to see some more uh, Splatoon 2, want to see other content or join the, your stay here with us, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Show your support. Uh, we'll see you on the next video, Fixers. Thank you so much. See you later. Bye.